This is the future of video games, for real. Playdate came out two years ago this month, and it's only gotten cuter and more relevant with age. The Playdate catalog now has more than 100 games, and there are hundreds more on sites like Itch.io. Panic has sold roughly 70,000 Playdates to date, so there's a sizable audience to develop for here. Scrolling through the Playdate tags on Itch.io or GitHub feels like hanging out in a friendly underground clubhouse for video game freaks obsessed with tiny cranks. It's less disturbing than it sounds, I promise. Playdate has attracted top-tier indie developers too, and it features exclusive games from Kaita Takahashi, Bennett Foddy, and Lucas Pope. There's no single formula for a Playdate game. Titles like Chopter Copter turn the device on its side and use the crank like a helicopter rotor, while Word Trip is a simple letter-swapping game that's incredibly addictive, and Lucas Pope's Mars After Midnight offers a brilliant mix of cranking and button pressing. The Playdate crank transforms into hundreds of different tools. There are standards like crank to scroll and crank to buy, but there's also crank to pour a drink, crank to fly, crank to fish, crank to spin a record, crank to build a city, crank to control time, crank to crank, crank to survive. Literally every game on Playdate reveals a new use for the crank or helps demonstrate the absurd level of detail possible on a 400 by 240 one bit display. That said, a backlight would be nice. I'm also still waiting on the Stereo Dock, which is an adorable charging stand, Bluetooth speaker, and pen holder that matches Playdate's pleasant yellow hue. I've wanted to plop one on my desk since it was announced, but the Stereo Dock has been coming soon for two years now. Playdate project lead Greg Maletic told me that it really is still coming, saying, The Stereo Dock is very much alive, we have the physical prototypes to prove it. We expect to have a formal update on when you can buy one later this year. Playdate is a simple, small gaming machine with a single twist, and in its first two years on the market, it's unearthed wells of creativity in the indie scene. By paring down the graphics and adding a new input method, Playdate changes the way we think about how games are played and made. As many of the industry's most influential studios are trapped in a cycle of mass layoffs and regularly scheduled crunch, it's a fantastic time to rethink what we're all actually doing here. Playdate makes this process natural, accessible, and entertaining. A device like Playdate doesn't just happen. I wouldn't be worried about revisiting this thing two years post-launch if it were too underpowered, overcomplicated, or unserious. But this isn't a funny gimmick from a company on a press tour. The sense of elegance, care, and proper prioritization built into Playdate is what makes it a blank canvas for so many different styles of game development. Playdate is a little yellow inspiration machine. It's a physical reset button for the entire industry. Actually, I guess it's a reset crank. Go on, turn it. It's so much fun.